Hey, Ivan from the EV Stock Channel here. Tesla just reported Q3 earnings, and in this episode, I'm going to do my best to visualize the numbers. But before we begin, thank you to all the Patreons that support the channel, and as always, all content is my opinion only and not financial advice. Okay, let's start off with revenue, in which Tesla reported $21.4 billion for the quarter, which was up 55.8% from Q3 of last year, and not to mention, if we annualize this number, it comes out to about $85 billion. And if Tesla can achieve about $25 billion in revenue in the next quarter, that would put Tesla over a $100 billion run rate for the first time in their history. So keep that in mind for Q4. Now, while automotive still makes up the lion's share of revenue, there has been some good news regarding Tesla Energy, with over a billion dollars reported for the first time in Q3, and remember what Elon stated on the conference call regarding Tesla Energy. That also is, we, we, can't, we, we actually um, see the, the energy storage business, stationary storage, growing more like, I don't know, 150 to 200% a year. So much fast, faster than cars, by a lot. Next up, look at the growth of Tesla service revenue, which includes things like Tesla's ever-growing insurance, non-warranty after-sales vehicle services, sales of used vehicles, and retail merchandise. And best of all, look for this number to go up as the size of Tesla's fleet increases at about 50% per year. Staying on the topic of revenue, here's Tesla's price to sales ratio, which has dropped all the way down to 8.5 from as high as 14.4 back in Q1 earlier this year. And as I've said before, just keep in mind, this is just one indicator that just gives you one point of view. It's not the be all or end all. Also, keep in mind, Elon seemed pretty optimistic about Tesla in Q4. As our factories ran, we're looking forward to a record breaking Q4. Um, so it really, you know, knock, knock on wood, it looks, looks like we'll have an, an epic uh, end, of, end of year. So Q4 is looking extremely good. Next up, here is Tesla's gross automotive margins, which came in at 27.9% for the second straight quarter. Again, keep in mind, Tesla is in the process of ramping two massive factories, Giga Berlin and Giga Texas. So look for these numbers to increase as Tesla hits economies of scale in the coming quarters. And then, here's something interesting. Tesla paid down a further $800 million of debt in Q3, bringing down their long-term debt all the way down to $2.1 billion. Talk about having a solid balance sheet at a time of global economic uncertainty. And at the same time, cash and cash equivalents rose to a record high of $21.1 billion. Now imagine what this chart will look like when Tesla stops paying down debt. The one question I do have is, if Tesla commences a share buyback next year, will the funds come from existing cash, or will Tesla take out a loan to finance the buybacks? If you have some ideas about this, let me know in the comments below, I'd be curious to know. In the final section, we're going to look at profit, or gap net income, in which Tesla reported about $3.3 billion, which annualized is just over $13 billion. Now, when we look at Tesla's price to earnings ratio, using annualized quarterly profit numbers in conjunction with the final day of the quarter, we can see that Tesla's PE has dropped to 63, the lowest level since Tesla became profitable. And if Tesla can achieve about 5.5 billion of profit next quarter, then at today's prices, that would drop Tesla's PE ratio into the low 30s for a company that's growing 50% annually. And of course, this is based on estimates, which could easily be wrong. So in summary, in Q3, Tesla has achieved record automotive, energy and services revenue close to record profit, record cash on hand while almost paying down all their long-term debt, while achieving record production across all four factories. And best of all, Tesla is still just getting started. The best days are yet to come. Anyways, stay tuned for more episodes of the Tesla documentary series, which will be released soon. So till next time, have a great day.